Damn. And welcome to the Game Fix and Joy's Podcast. Here's a show where we talk about shows, movies, and video games and cool stuff we see during the week. I'm your host, Enterprise. With me is Santa Mico Pio. El Filis. El Mazapan Eating Giant Filler. Hey, I'm gonna come here. I already ate it. Had a good holidays, B. Yes, I did. Remi good holiday. Time. Fun holiday. Yeah, it was a good one. It was nice. Hopefully, awesome. y'all had a good one as well. Um, those last few episodes were pre-recorded, so it's been a minute since I sat in this chair and recorded with my homie. It's been a minute, dude. It feels a little bit weird. I must say, it kind of does. Um, <clears throat> it was... It was rumors Dree, right? Mm-hmm. And down here in the Mexicanos, we celebrate Dia de Reyes, right? Well, it depends on where you go, because I don't. You don't? You didn't no. do the Rosca even growing up? A la Rosca, pues sí, güey. The I'm Rosca, do the Rosca with the little BB, and, and then if you get the BB, you got to buy tamales. It's some fun shit, dog. We play with food over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's about the three wise men that showed up to give presents, right? Yes. And in the Mexican tradition is that the, the wise men also bring you gifts. So they technically... If they didn't do Santa, they do this or they do both, right? Exactly. Uh, which is like another an extra week or two in in the game, right? Yes, two weeks. A couple after. weeks. But got me thinking, dog. This is my What's stupid up? ass questions. You ready? Okay. I hate, Bring it. I hate to put you on the spot, but I feel like I like putting you on the spot. Then the fuck are you gonna do? Okay, do it, do it, do it. Rip the band aid. It's gonna, gonna come up with six answers. What? But I have mine, so you can think. Okay. What are the three wise men of gaming? And Motherfucker then get, way. And then you got your three wise men <clears throat> characters. You know, so we got movies, shows, and then th- those three. And then you got the gaming ones. I got them already. So you got chill, right? Okay, the gaming ones? I got I got shows first. Well, we can do gaming first. Okay, yes. I would like to say one of them uh-huh. is Mario. Okay. I don't have I don't have Mario as mine, but okay. Uh, One of them is Scanic. No, he's not in mine either. Okay, you went hella PG. Okay. And the last one? Oh shit. Cause I'm going with OG. That's fine. I mean I mean you, you can take it however the fuck you want. This is a podcast about nothing. Yeah, and the the third one I would like to say is oh fuck, this is hard. Just the way you said the last one said, I thought you were gonna say Joel. No, I was going to say uh, Ratchet. Damn. Okay, those are your three wise men of gaming? Yeah, because since I, I'm I'm uh, actively playing vi- uh, old video games, yeah, that's why. No, nah, but you were cartoony with it. I literally took the wise men part of it. Oh, the- shit. Oh, wise men going to be Joel, going to be Kratos, and going to be, I don't know. The, you can't uh, the give me six, one. dog. I got Kratos number one. Okay, yes. I got Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. Oh, motherfucker, it's the wrong way. And to close it out, I got Sully from the Uncharted series. <gasps> He's the wisest oh, of men. Uh, and then oh, on the movies yeah, and we're... show size, I mean, the whole crew of the Big Lebowski could be fucking wise men, you know? <laughs> God damn it, Johnny! Or well, it's, well, it's not Johnny, Donnie! God <laughs> Donnie damn it, way. Johnny! <laughs> that could be the you three. Got, you, you, you gotta relax, dude. Come on. Uh, but I was thinking either the, the dude as one of them. Uh, see, wait, dude has to be one of them. Or Sam Elliott, the stranger, if you're going to pick one. Remember him? Oh, he was see, just wait. chilling. <laughs> yeah, he's like the narrator of the whole thing. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking I'm going, I'm leaning towards the dude as one of the wise men of, yeah. the, of, of the movies. I'm going to, because the, cause the stranger is a good, good, good runner up. Because he's like super the, mysterious. You're like, get <laughs> Billy Gunn's the way. Yeah, but no, no, the, the, the dude is one. The dude is one for me. I also got Red for Shawshank Redemption, a.k.a. Morgan Freeman. <gasps> he can get you anyway. anything, you know? Yes. He can get uh-huh. you anything whenever the fuck he wants. And they were he's, literally he's playing Shawshank. Motherfucker, he's the black one. Wait. See, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Stay into character. Hey, that's what happened, Doug. But they were literally <laughs> playing it during the Christmas time, so I was like, yeah. And then I got the fucked up one at, at the end is I got Hannibal Lecter. As my third and final wise man. Oh, that's the darkest one. Wait. But he's wise, wait. I ain't through check, cabron. He knows what he's doing, dog. Oh, he does. Have you seen Hannibal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the first no, one. The, I've seen. I've, no, Hannibal. No, no, no. no, no the no. series. 
No, no, fuck that. Oh, te pases de verga. No, I'm saying Hannibal. Good, no, wey. Anthony Hopkins Hannibal. Ah, sí, güey, sí, sí. Ese es mi, ese es mi wise man, dog. Mm -hmm. Give me your three wise men in movies or shows. Gandalf? Sí, güey. I, I didn't want to go Gandalf, Dumbledore, but I left you those for you. Yes, yes, yes. Sí, yeah. sí, sí. And Gandalf? Dumbledore. We got two different Dumbledores. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. The, the, la the, the first one. Mm -hmm. that, that looks like, like a venerable one. Ese güey, yeah. And, oh, the third one's going to be kind of tough. Um, Because those were like uh, off the top of the dome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say that the third one. Ah, uh, dude. I need to. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. Uh, the Godfather, Vito Corleone. Está bien, güey. That's perfect. That's my three wise men from movies. That's perfection. Yeah. Um, ya que nos dejamos de malas. <laughs> so, speaking of dead people. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you knew it. Yeah, to T's and P's. Motherfucker, way I was joking. And R.I.P. Really, you didn't know what happened? N no. Oh, see, ah, oh, fuck. There's two of them. What? Yeah, bitch. What do you mean? People just die. Hurt. I mean, I just cared about the one. But you don't care okay. about the one, but I care about both. Okay. First, T's and P's and R.I.P. to the legend, John Madden, legendary sportscaster. Oh shit! Wait, he died this last year? This year. No, oh, yeah, 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 last year, last year, right after, Merga, during Christmas, there's never really a Christmas game on, but for some reason, they're doing Christmas games on for, for football, and mm -hmm. right before, they had a whole ass John Madden special called All Madden, which we were watching, and mm -hmm. thinking, and I asked my dad, like, Madden's alive, right? And he's like, yeah, and he was on there, and it's very rare, and, and we need to do this more, is give people their flowers while they're fucking alive. So it, it was like a almost an in memoriam or like a mm -hmm. whole special on him, but he's alive. He's sitting in a room and he's watching all these people saying good things about him. Okay. That's way better than waiting for the fuckers to die and then we do it, you know? I see what. Like let's give people their flowers when we when we have them. Why wait till they pass away? Mm -hmm. You know? But legendary sportscaster, broadcaster, and Hall of Fame coach, also known for lending his name and voice to the John Madden NFL football game series. He was 85. And for a big fuck, that's a long time, man. Big guys, are we are Great Danes, bro. We, we do good eight years, and that's about it. You know? Mm -hmm. T's and P's and R.I.P. To the legend John Madden, I thought that yeah, maybe the Madden the games were gonna, on. yeah, I thought maybe that the mm -hmm. Madden games were gonna like go up and stuff, and not in my <laughs> maybe I don't know, um, but maybe it was just weird. Ones. Like we saw the thing on Friday, and he died on Tuesday, so it was kind of like, wait, what the fuck? We just saw him on the thing. Oh shit! So okay, that, oh damn, that sucks. So that sucked. Uh -huh. Also, we lost the legend of the legendist. With right, really great sadness to report, Betty White passed away at the age of 99. The Golden Girl. The Golden Girl. She was like a few mm. weeks out from her 100th birthday. Neta? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. It would have been dope if she if she if like she kicked it at 100. But That's what people are saying. Oh, it's a, but still, wait, 99 is a good fucking ass run. Dude, That's a, that, I think that's like her last joke. You thought I was going to 100, huh? I'm dying, bitches. You done. I mean, Deuces. in Pokemon, you can only level up to 99, right? No, you can go to 100. Really? Yeah. Isn't there stuff where you can only level up to 99? Uh, A lot of games, yeah. But no, Pokemon, you could go to 100. I thought it was Pokemon. Mm -mm. That was the last Golden Girl. Um, We have lost them all. There are no, yeah, there are now bickering in heaven. Oh, they're giving hell to everybody right now my mom's favorite i guess our favorite too is the oldest one because she would just talk shit while like in your face she was the funniest one really yeah yeah the oldest one like their mom in the show oh you see one yeah yeah she was the best um but yeah <laughs> and the most google search of like was betty white's uh cause of death it's like Time, okay. Holmes. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, like the worst one. Time. She's she fucking old. She's ninety nine, homie. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean? There were people googling how she died. Don't mind this way. Father Time came up and took on the shoulder and like, yes, totally. I mean, being Betty White, she could have died a hundred different ways. 
Maybe. I don't think she was not like she was bungee. She's not fucking Bear Grylls, homie. Relax. I no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying she's going to hunt like a tiger or something. <laughs> no way. But, I mean, she could have gone another, a, a number of different ways. But I think this is, like, the best way you can go. I don't know. I don't know how she... I think she was surrounded by her family, and she fell asleep, I think, and oh, passed away like that. Oh, that would be beautiful. Right? Um, But, yeah, we, we lost Legend. May they both rest in... Le- big, huge legends in the game. They both cemented their legacy in this world. Big time. Um, Mm, well, in my world, Madden will is a big, huge deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like, I don't know how many people are just gonna come across Betty White, though. You know, like the youngins. I can see like my 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 nephew who's seven. He could be like, "Oh, Madden, like the guy from the video game." I don't think he's ever gonna say in his lifetime who the f- like Betty White from Golden. You know, it's a little harder no, to. I don't think so. To appreciate her in a younger, from a younger person. Madden is a little easier because of the games, but they both they both had a part in history, and it's very sad, Doug. Dude, I, I you just made me remember that. For, the, remember the shirt Ryan Reynolds wore in Deadpool One, uh, the Golden Girl shirt. Do, yeah, it had something to do with that. Yeah, yeah, he paid a lot of money out of his own pocket to use that shirt in the movie just because he wanted to put it with Wales. Well, yeah, but, but uh, surprisingly, Betty, not Betty White. Uh, well, technically, yeah, Betty White. Uh, Golden Girl stuff is like there's like a lot there's lunch boxes, board games, t shirts, hat there's like a lot of merch. Yeah, it was hella marketed. Yeah, yeah it's, it's super, time. super crazy you marketed like that. Um it's it's a it's a novelty. It's it's I've seen a handful you've watched Golden Girls? I've seen a handful of episodes. Me too. I like like maybe a couple. Have you seen more football or Golden Girls? Football. Okay. <laughs> I think I've seen like a, an episode and a half, maybe. No, no. That's very sad. T's and P's and R.I.P. to that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I, I got my booster. So if I forget more than I usually do, it's because of that, you know? Mm-hmm. I still feel itchy, you know? Really? Okay. Yeah, well, they had me lay down. <clears throat> And then they're like, okay, and I put my legs up, and then they grabbed the thing, and they stuck it in. On your legs? No, my bajo. Wait. What the fuck? Wait, what do you mean? What that, do you mean, what do you mean? That's not a thing? No. I know my miss. <laughs> so they were... They oh, stuck yeah, a in the shot. On my bajo, dog. No, yeah, in the shot... It was, was about the, the pills that was, we're talking was, about. No, that, that, that's a, that, that's the doctor's tiny dick, you asshole. No, mom is. It's good when they say I shot. They gave me a shot of alcohol, and then I fucking put my legs up in the air, and then they went and they shot it in my butthole. That's not how it goes. Wow, you are an easy bitch. No, mommies. Nah, you, I got the booster you, shot in my arm, and it hurts a little, but you took a they took advantage of you. I feel a little loopy, a little bit, like an off voice. Like I can't, I can't think of the words. To express words more than more than often, <laughs> okay, more than I used to. So, wow, que vale that, ver, okay? that sucks balls. You know what else sucks balls? I don't know if it does suck balls, but yeah, it kind of feels like it does because right. it's, it's pandy related. Related. E three twenty twenty two will be online only once again due to the ongoing health risk of surrounding COVID nineteen and its potential impact on the safety of exhibitors and attendees. E three will not be held in person in twenty twenty two. We'll remain incredibly excited about the future of E three, and look forward to announcing more details soon. That was by the ESA. Um, I mean, I watch it from home anyway, but it's just a different atmosphere and a different vibe when they're showing stuff and there's a, you can hear the crowd reacting. I miss that. There's nothing more beautiful than the Keanu Reeves moment, and we're not going to have that this year. Right. It's just spontaneous stuff like that. Um, but you, you got the Jeff Keighley Summer Game Fest, too, that just drops trailers out of pendejo. Simon. Who's trying to compete with E3. Um, I don't know what the difference are in, the, in like in presenting. I don't know what comes easier to present at E3 or to present at Summer Game Fest. Maybe I feel like E3 was supposed to be everything, and it, and the gaming world took over, right? I think E3 was supposed to be it was Electronic something else Expo. I forget what the other E Electronic is. Electronic Entertainment Expo. Is it entertainment? Yes. And I feel like the phones and that kind of stuff moved away to something else. 
Yeah, because I remember when we were in middle school that uh, no, not even elementary school. Yeah, the E three was a thing in the in the newspapers, and I remember uh, looking at phones and looking at stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, this is the future. Mm -hmm. and then it just started veering towards video games. I don't know how, but it did. And I they mean, just took over. Thank the Lord. Well, I mean, what are you going to talk about? Shit? The iPhone Uno or like the new Wii? Like, what the fuck is Wii? You know? Do I remember when it was Project Revolution Wii? See, wait, I used to call no, it, I, 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 I was calling it the E3. That's how stupid I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, my man. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like a bummer, but at the same time, I'm like, eh, hey, I don't watch it home anyway. See, Monica, come on. it's not like we haven't done it. No, but the well, lack of audience does, does, does feel, does hurt. <clears throat> it does. It does hurt the thing. But again, we also got that Summer Game Fest, which is like the it's the the competition to it we'll see we'll see when that drops and what drops there are 48 games coming in 2022 allegedly holy shit allegedly um my oh. highlights are pokemon arceus sifu horizon is in a month or, or two months away a month away elder ring as well uh-huh um the Final Fantasy game, Tiny Tina, Oxen Free 2. Hey, Tiny Tina, is it Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I remember I shot myself for that. Saints Row, Redfall, Marvel Midnight Suns. We haven't heard a whole lot of that. We've been waiting for that. Bayonetta 3, allegedly. God of War, of course. Bayonetta 3? Yeah. Gotham Knights, Hogwarts Legacy. The, uh, uh, si the Hogwarts Legacy por fin va a salir a la verga. Allegedly. Breath of the Wild mm -hmm. 2. Uh, and the Suicide Squad. If I miss anything else, well, it'd be cool. If the, if everything goes as planned, all that and more should come out this year. Okay. <sighs> but we'll see. Who knows, Hopefully. Man. There's already pushing stuff like uh, Morbius got pushed back already, too. To April. To April, as well as John Wick, I think. It okay. got delayed a year to March 2023. 20, 20, 20, I think it was so supposed to come out this year. Pull them out of That's a lot. Yeah. Like it got cereal again. We were chilling and then all of a sudden it's like, ah, Code Red. What the fuck? What do you mean? Yeah, I just sent you a, a post saw that said, no mames, wait. What the fuck? What, what, what's going on? What do you mean? We, we're fine. We're fine. Like, no, we're not, bitch. No way. <sighs> a, friend of mine, a friend of mine just told me that the both two hospitals in TJ. Are are like busting out with COVID patients. Damn. I'm like, oh shit, neta, we fucked up. And he was like, yeah, fuck. Oh, I just want to set my fucking head on fire. Not me, because I don't want to still live in this world. Uh, fire with a fireless head. No, wouldn't you want a fireless head like Ghost Rider? <gasps> okay, that yes, yes, Speaking I would. Kind of Ghost Rider, bro. Put the puta madre, boy. Everything is a setup. Nothing is real. The Matrix. Listen to our review of The Matrix 4. Living in the name of. Um, it's killing, right? Killing in the name of? Killing in the name of, yeah. Killing in the name of. But speaking of Ghost Rider, right? Mm-hmm. This is, the, the, we're in an era and we're in a in an age where we can hear what certain actors want, right? Like, look yes. at Henry Cavill. That fool want to play every nerdy thing ever in the planet of the ever in the ever. And I would never say no. I would. You're too much. All right, you don't get to be the Witcher. You don't get to be Red Dead. You don't get to be fucking Mass Effect. That's too much. De Halo is the most beautiful nerd we have right now. Si, cabrón, but it's too much. It's too much. You're being greedy. Tom Holland, you're being greedy. Mm -hmm. All right, you can't be Mario and Garfield. What is this world? It's too much. Uh huh. Right? Este vato. Nicholas Cage again. No. <sighs> <laughs> but I agree with who seemingly wants to be. MCU's Ghost Rider, and that is Norman Reedus. <gasps> yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. yes. A thousand percent. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, I can't start a, a, a cool Charlie chant for Norman, but fans and reporters are oh, speculating Charlie. that The Walking Dead and Death Stranding star Norman Reedus is vying to be Ghost Rider in the MCU, partially because he's been liking dozens of fan tweets that suggest he'd be a good fit. <clears throat> Let's do what we do best, Doug. Chant? No, let's cast. <laughs> if we can't do fucking Ghost Rider, I mean, I, I don't think I thought of him. No, no, I'm not, no way. I'm not actively watching The Walking Dead, so I forget about him. Mm -hmm. 
He's a sleeper. He's a sleeper, but I'm I'm down. Completely. Doesn't too, he, he rides a motorcycle in The Walking Dead, no? Was there a series where he's riding motorcycles? Right, with, he knows what he's doing. Yes. Mm. Mm. Este vato, también from The Walking Dead, could do it too. Andrew Lincoln? No. Well, no. No, no, no. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. <gasps> sí, it depends where, where you want to go with the movie, you know? If you want and him Winchester to be... Winchester Daddy. Yeah, if you want him to be chill, you do Norman. If you want to be like a snarky asshole, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. You feel me? Oh, completely. I feel you. I feel you up and down. You said he was a Mexican, right? In the in the in the thing. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's a there's a Mexican ghost rider, Robbie Reyes, but he's not driving a motorcycle. He's driving like a charger. Oh, boring. Yeah, it's better with when you got the bike. Ghost Rider is one of those one of those characters you can change the race and we don't care, right? Because at the end of the day, it's just a skull and leather pants. Basically, yeah. It's, it's, it's basically fucking Mad Max and Road Rage with fucking fire. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could be. We don't associate well, the race with him. Oh, no. I mean, no. I was thinking that. a lot of things that there are changing. Oh, yeah. Completely. But I was thinking that Mad Max, maybe a dude like fucked up with radiation would catch him fire and like. It could be a Mad Max character. Yeah, it's, it's a Mad Max character. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, as long as his name is Johnny Blaze or whatever, who cares if he's black, Asian, or whatever? I, I really do not care. If as long blazing? as his... Uh, oh, motherfucker. Well, he's blazing <laughs> and he's Asian, bro. Blazing fire. Or or Tiger Woods. Um, but hey, it could as be Tiger. Long, it could be Tiger. But as long as it's written... As long as it's well-written. Yeah. Cause goddamn way. I mean, it could still be Norman Reedus, and he <clears throat> and the script could still be shit. Yeah, but it says MCU Ghost Rider. You think they'll fuck it up? No. Yeah, you think I, they I could? think so. See, way. Why? Because I, I, I don't. I'm, I'm having my doubts with Blade. I don't know if they're gonna do like a PG thirteen or a rated R. PG thirteen. God damn it. I don't think Blade is their first rated. Were the first ones rated R? The first Seagway. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, fuck it. The, 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 remember the stupid video game movie I told you to watch that you never watched? The front, the one with Frankie Muniz? Stupid video game movie? I don't remember. No. It was Disney way. What about it? It was fucked up. Like, people got killed with, with video games and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah it sounds familiar. Or something that was like Disney that. way. It was Disney or, or Disney bought it? No, it was Disney way. Neta? Sí, güey. That don't mean nothing. Disney can make rated R shit if they want to. That's my chingo favor, boy. No, they're not gonna. They're they're not gonna. They can, it, but they're well, not gonna. The blade is not for kids, though. You think it's they're gonna make them no. for kids? <sighs> Sadly, they will. I don't. I don't think they're, they're they're gonna make blade with the intentions of selling action. Well, they're gonna they make everything to make action figures, but action figures for us fucks. They're gonna have, keep it in the box and never play it. But I don't. I don't think they're gonna make it with the intent of having little kids play with blade action figures and they can still make a pg-13 movie gory we've, we've gone over this before yeah but 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 i mean Spider-Man i don't want pg-13 oh no no i'm not saying because of the gory and shit but i don't know man because of the themes what themes of vampires and death the, no well darkness and shit that's the they, they, they that can be pg-13 i guess you're right like uh PG-13, there's a certain f- amount of fucks, there's a certain amount of titties you can watch, there's a f- certain amount of stuff that, that's allowed in that parameters. Mm-hmm. You know? I, I don't know. You see Blade being the Disney... If they were to make a rated R movie, would you want it to be Blade? Yeah. I mean, they're going to do it... I don't know if they're going to just kill, uh, still keep uh, Deadpool uh, rated R. See, I, I will, if I would have to pick, I would go Deadpool. Yeah, make it make Deadpool rated R. Yeah, well, you know what? I would go that it. way too. Yeah, because Deadpool uh, needs to be rated R to be funnier. They help. Yeah, leave it as is, and 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 leave Blade PG thirteen. But don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. <sighs> I don't know. We won't. We won't know until we watch. I have faith in for in what they're doing. I can see Blade bring what it needs to be. Uh, at this point, I don't know. I mean, what 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 have they fucked up? 
it's not DC. It's it's Marvel. What do I? Well, what ha, what have they presented to you that you don't trust? Uh, most Shang Chi, Eternals, Black Widow was meh. I was watching Loki again. It pissed me off. Um, what else? Hawkeye was a disappointment. Most of everything but that came out last year. It's not fucked up. It's not fucked up, but it was not good. You, Shang Chi was great. You wildin'. I'll give you Chi, the, I, I, everything uh, the you fighting said, was amazing. The third act was shit. It's fucking dragons, homie. You wildin'. But third act I, was shit. Out of everything <laughs> you said, I'll give you the Eternals because that needed to be two movies. Oh, see, wait, see, and we don't know shit about the Eternals, and I don't no. think anybody's like, "Oh, we love the Eternals." We don't know who the Eternals are. This was your introduction to the Eternals. We yeah, know who shit. the fuck Ghost Rider is. Yes, they yeah, know we, we love Ghost Rider. They know we love mm-hmm. Blade. There's already three movies about Blade, and people like it, and it has a little cult following. Hold on, yeah, have you seen third one? I'm still not oh. touched that one. That's why I'm talking so highly about the good first way. two. Good, <laughs> I'm good. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh fuck, wait. I, Good luck with that. No mama. That's are they, horrible. Are they on Disney Plus at all? No. Huh? Uh, uh, search for them in the stars. Stars Plus or whatever it's called. The I, other know, I was just wondering if they're on Disney Plus. I don't think so. Are there any rated R movies on Disney Plus? That's a good question, and I do not know how to answer that. Hmm. I don't know. I I I I I, I trust them. Both whatever they're point, doing. At this point, I'm just going to take whatever they have. Well, you don't have any other choice. Seaway, but I trust them more than DC. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Seaway. No, and DC can't go rated R for some reason, and they don't. They don't care. Like and that, and that's strange. I don't know. Why. I don't know why. Is it money? It's got to be money. Everything is money. Yeah, because they they want to cater to every audience. That means kids. <sighs> but who else could be? Who else could play Ghost Rider? I mean, Norman is pretty good. Jeffrey Dean is pretty good, but Jeffrey Dean is leaning towards like a seasoned a, one. A uh, what's his name movie? A Nicolas Cage. And if we want to go completely opposite of that, we do Norman. Because we can't like have go... Norman being act, acting a fool. You know, he he's just not he's no. just not that guy. No, it's not a type. No. <clears throat> hmm, that's a good question. And again, it doesn't matter what he looks like, because he's gonna turn into a fiery skull anyway. mm Hmm. But that's the problem with the with the OG Ghost Riders. It was mostly Nick Cage and not the Fire Skull. We got the mm. Fire Skull for like twenty percent of the movies. Both of them. At I didn't watch the second one. The sec I think the second one's better than the first one, and the Where? second one's shit. See, way I'm gonna go back and watch them both. The de- the I'm gonna say this: the design of Ghost Rider in the second one is way better than the first one. Mm. That's he, about it. He <laughs> can kind of be an old fuck too, no? See way, well, he was fucking old, dude. There's a point. There's a point with Punisher is the Ghost Rider. He's a cosmic Ghost Rider. The Punisher, you mean? Yeah, Frank Castle uh-huh. becomes the Punisher and becomes the Herald of Galactus. Word. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. But like, as a as a as a, another Ghost Rider, mm-hmm. oh. Like, there's a lot of names popping in my head right now. Say one. Fuck. It's hard. Um, este cabrón, el de, el, el de Gypsy Danger. The Sons of Anarchy. Charlie Hunnam. Not in love with it, but I can see it. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. Not in love with it, but it's not bad. Uh, hmm. If there were to be a mentor in, because there's a mentor, right? For for Ghost Rider, isn't it? Sam Elliott? Simon, and uh, the first one, yeah. Okay, if that character were to return, if it's Norman Reedus, I would like the mentor to be Liam Neeson. Oh, that would be cool. I like that. Yeah, Liam Neeson is a good pick. And if we're going to go young, young Ghost Rider? Mm-hmm. Let's give it to this fool. The guy from the kissing booth. El mijo. Ah, cabrón. El pinche mijo, wey. Pues no he visto the kissing booth, wey. Good for you. Don't. Ni siquiera porque se le salen las narguillas a la morra, wey. No. Don't. Yeah, that that was never in my radar. Dude, I'd rather watch, um, like, what was the name of the of the movie I watched? That was like a remake of the thing. 
with, oh, with, 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 with a TikToker. He's all that, or he's got to have it, or he's something. Oh, he's all that. I'd rather watch that again. Yeah, that's than, fine. Then watch Kissing Booth for the yeah, first time. Yeah, Kissing Booth is weird, but there's five of those fucking movies. Este compilla, I just send him to. A ver. I can see him, if we're going to go young, not really known, crazy like that. Este vato's body the fuck up. Ah, no mames, we see. I can see him. Charlie Hunnam's not bad. But again, it depends on which which way you want to go with it. Yeah, you know they could go a hundred different ways. But this your pick is is pretty good. He's a, he's a unknown or whatever. It's just I don't know. I, I would like to be a casting director. I can do that shit, dog. Tell sure. me what you want to do. You want to be you want to you want to like super super goofy. What are we, what are we doing with this movie? What's see. the direction you want to go? Where we want to go? Want to go black? I'll give you black. Want to go Asian? We'll find we we'll find somebody, babe. Wanna fuck this whole thing up? Let's give it to Nick Cage again. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wait. You just wanna make it just to make it? Let's give it to fucking Mel uh, Stevato, way. Let's give it to Nick Cage again. Fuck it. Wait, he was involved he was heavily involved in the production of the second movie. That's why he's fucked up. Pussy. No mames. Fucking cochinero de mi compa, wey. Sí, wey. But cause there's a like a lot of big names are in the MCU, wey. Way. Again, so it, it, it depends what the fuck you want to do with it, but Ben Affleck um, isn't he already in? All right, because Matt Damon's in there, dude. Ben Affleck was Daredevil, remember? But he's not MCU. Ah, no, we're not talking. No. But Christian Bale's gonna be in there. Oh, Simon, way. You know, what's the uh, what? Gork the Butcher, Simon. We got right, uh, Jillian Hall's in there. We got Bradley Cooper's in there. <clears throat> yeah, Jillian Hall is on. Ke- uh, Keanu wants to be, and I think they're looking for something for him in there. Oscar Isaac's going to be. Oscar Isaac's going to be in there. I mean, Chris Evans. Is, like, they have a lot of people. Wait. RDJ también, wait, but see, those are the OG. So are we looking for new people? Or are we going to just, uh, uh, este vato, the sec- sexiest man in the world? Paul Rudd, to way Chris Pratt, like Paul Bettany. Are we looking for new people, or we want to get old people? Like, is you think Leonardo's eventually going to be in the MCU? I don't know. I don't think so. You know who I do see in the MCU eventually, but I can't see him in what capacity. Ryan Gosling. See <laughs> way. I don't know doing what or how or por qué. Cabrón, pues metieron al 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 culo face de Anna Morlock. Who? El, el angry face. ¿Cómo se llama este cabrón? The guy from Maze Runner and uh, Chronicles of Narnia. What's his name? Yeah. And We Are the Millers. We Are the Millers? Yeah. Oh, ese vato que se puso en pinche mamado. Ese cabrón. Sí, güey. I forget his name, but he's not a big star. But he might he be. No, no, he, he's a he young might, guy. He might be, güey. You know, same with like with la, with la fucking Florence. You know, she was growing. She's she's turning into a star. Mm-hmm. And she just so happens to be a black widow. So it's like, what are we going with this? I thought you were gonna uh, for a moment. I thought you were gonna say she's she so happens to be black, and I was like, no, motherfucker, she's white. <laughs> no, she's not white. I mean, she's not black. <laughs> no, well, I don't know. It's interesting, but I don't think they're gonna fuck anything up, bro. You wild in. I don't know. I think you maybe I'm to that just, four hour podcast hating on fucking Chang Chi so much that some yeah, hate speaking I, I, to you. I think I think I have that podcast has made me angry. Yeah, unfollow away. No, uh, it, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cleanse myself with some Mexican comedy. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it might be worse, <laughs> but you know, you know what I'm saying. Oh, oh yeah, but it's gonna it's another type of hate, Z-way. digestible hate. Yeah, you're gonna hate on the production. Zway. <laughs> Ghost Rider. He, I like him. He's one of my faves, dog. Yeah. But I'd, he's one of my faves that I don't know shit about. Yeah. He's one I mean, of my yeah. He's looking at, like, design-wise. It's a fucking school on fire. On a motorcycle, that's also on fire. The way. Is this shit? He could be yeah. anybody. I'd be dope. Uh, let's get into trailer talk, bro. Sadly, it's been, like, two weeks. Nothing fucking coming out, dog. What the hell, we? A bunch of it's shit that we talked about. Talk, way. See way everything we talked about before. Stuff we done like uh, rehash stuff. I'm like, hey, what's new? Cause what's new coming? Will Poulter is his name. C way, and I saw Poulter in my head, and I didn't say it. But over here in the trailer talks, we got the presentation for PlayStation VR Dose, and they explain on their Sense controller. 
yada, yada, yada. Uh, but the big deal for me in this whole presentation was the reveal of a Horizon Zero Dawn game in VR. That's Which, interesting. Who knows if it's, I don't remember if they said if it was going to be like an on rails thing or you just like sitting in a boat looking at all the crazy shit. Or what are you shooting or what's going on? Like it's, if it's going to be like a game, like an interact, like a straight up video game or like a more like an interactive type cinematic. I'm not sure if they revealed what it was, but it's Horizon VR Call of the Mountain. Mm-hmm. VR just didn't, hasn't taken off for me. No, it, I mean, in general, a lot of people are getting into it, but it, it, it doesn't feel like it's there still. They've been trying to do it since the fucking what's the name of the Nintendo one? The Virtual oh, Boy. Oh, ver- oh, cabron! You went way back. But see, way like the the ultimate goal of immersion is v is a form of VR, virtual reality. You know. Yeah. You think we are eventually going to get into Ready Player One territory where it's the norm? You think VR will ever be the norm? Maybe not this century. No. No. It's gonna be. Little ways, it's gonna be a little ways to go. Well, this VR two is is for PlayStation Five. Uh, they did simple. What, what comes with technology and the goal of technology is to make it smaller. And what they did here was uh, they made it more uh, less complicated. The first VR has like crazy cables and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one is just one cable. You just, oh, nice. So, but it's not completely wireless yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is kind of the ultimate goal. But it just goes from the, the, your headset to the PlayStation, and that's it. The other one goes to a, a splitter, and the splitter has five cables, and you have to connect all these cameras. It's un pedo. Mm-hmm. This one is way, way more simpler, way easier to 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 deal with. Um, but it did get me thinking of to the future about the future of VR. I have not played – I have not put on a VR headset yet in my life. Me neither. I am curious, too, and I know there's a lot of games out there. Uh, there was one called – Blood in something, blood in Beat Saber. No, that's another. That's like the popular one. That's like the Guitar Hero for <laughs> VR. <laughs> Same one. Uh, 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 it's gonna fucking kill me if I don't fucking remember. But it was like really, really Blood and Truth. Mm. It was like you're playing a movie, you know, and a lot of people love it and call it brilliant. Um, I don't know if you have to play it in VR. Um, but it, it's made for VR. It has a very, very high reviews and shit. This is one that I would like to dip my toesies in because mm-hmm. you're in that world. But there's also Hitman VR games. There's Resident Evil 4 in VR. There's just, there's more putting out for VR, but VR has been out for a minute that it hasn't made that jump of like, yo, this is going to be the norm now. Get your ass a fucking VR set. Yeah, no, not yet. Will it ever be? Is what I I'm I'm, I'm questioning. Like you said it not in this century, but I don't know. How would you make it comfortable? Because as gamers, we don't want to come home from work and stand in the middle of the room swinging a sword. You know? No. Yeah. It's it's I don't know. It's it's a little bit complicated because are we yeah, gonna we download do... the world into these like uh, glasses and you're just gonna like shut your mind or plug in like. Literally, some stuff like that. Like, like how sort of we... online type of thing. Because that VR yeah. was like, you put on a helmet and you just lay down and kind of, quote unquote, sleep. But everything is happening in your mind. Right. Like, like a full immersion type thing. So maybe that. No, that's not going to even. We're not even dreaming of that still. Because even VR, you have to move your head around. And do you want to, like, move your head around and shit and dodge and move? You, you, the whole point of playing games, other than having fun and relaxing. You're not going to move and jump around. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why still people have, like, issues with the motion control in in, in these certain games where the fucking Switch and the Wii has you shaking shit at the TV. I don't want to do that. (laughs) But it still adds something. It still adds something, right? I just don't see it ever being the norm. No. Not in our lifetimes, I think. Because it is an interesting thing, and it right now I think it feels like a novelty, but maybe way down the line it is gonna be like the norm. Because I mean, as space gets smaller, entertainment, uh, uh, what am I looking for here? Like, as 
there's gonna be there is more people in the world the the like required spaces to live in they keep they keep mm. getting smaller and smaller so okay. there has to be a point where entertainment has to make that leap uh be it uh organically or like being pushed by it yeah so there is gonna be a moment where everybody in mexico even is gonna live like japan in this these small ass apartments and they're gonna have the need because they're not gonna they, maybe they could not buy a tv because the space does not let them but they don't they're, have a tv but they have a phone ex exactly the, well the phone is not the same experience but the vr is a very viable option for anybody the, who wants to play video games there's vr that can hook up to your phone well there we go so you make games for vrs that you could play with your phone or hook up to our controller or do like the oculus or the psvr or whatever but there is going to be a point by necessity or by organic growth that it is going to be the norm but maybe it's not right now but not even for video games just think of the metaverse it's going to be what fucking is the rough. metaverse what the fuck is that it's 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 the world online basically oh, okay it's gonna be Rick and Ralph, dog. Where you okay? I'm gonna go to Facebook, and you fucking put your goggles on, and you walk your ass to Facebook, and you can see all the videos, and like it's gonna eventually get to that. Okay, so Ready Player One status. Ready Player One with social media, like let's let's head our ass to the negative half Twitter, and it's like it looks like a boss fucking level, you know? It's all fucking gloomy and raining and shit. So let's go to the Insty. It's just ass and titties and. It's, this is my insty. Okay, let, let's go to Felix's feed, and then we go to your feed, and it's all all your feed of like white chicks with red hair and, and gingers with asses and shit, and Warhammer and fucking goats with nice butts. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, don't go. No, oh, mom is there. Don't go. Oh, way that was don't juicy go, way. That was go, fucking juicy. <laughs> don't go. That's oh. your fault. You brought it on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> fucking juicy way. I put Fuck a virus you. in your metaverse, homie. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder Fuck if we off. get to that. I don't know if I'm excited or scared about that, but. I, I mean, it's natural to get scared because it's something well, very new. But yeah. it's going to be like way down the line. It's People gonna don't like, want to get vaccinated. Do you think they're going to get fucking upload their sub subconscious to the metaverse? Oh, fuck no. No, not a chance. I don't know. Maybe. There's going to be people there are. And, oh, fuck. There's a glitch and I'm stuck. It's a whole movie. It's a movie. We're living in movie land. That's basically Ready Player One 2. See way. It's Ready Player One. It's Ready Player but, One. But the second one where they upload the thing and the thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What the fuck, way? It's Matrix. It's all that. It's fucking... It's free guy. What, weren't they wearing headsets? The same one. Um, but yeah, right now, I don't know. There's just not not there's not enough shiny stuff jingling in my face towards VR. I don't see myself mm -hmm. playing VR. I don't see myself getting VR. I don't know. The controllers are weird too. There's like this fear over your over your hands. I would like to try it. You know, like if it's at Walmart or something, you were shopping mm -hmm. or at E3. You know, if E3 was fucking more people, hey, put me some I don't even know. Can I wear the headset with my glasses on? That's no. like my main question. I don't think you can. Then I'm out. I'm not going to be able to see. Maybe I'm you could retrofit some lenses into it. Maybe. Eventually they're going to be. Well, they tried that too. The Google ads, what, the Google Sense, whatever shit. Google, uh, the Google Glass. They started with the Google Glass. <laughs> Look terrible. Look creepy as fuck. Look like you're, you're up to some shit. Remember, the, it it always comes to mind every time. Every time I, I think where somebody says Google Glass, which is further and further apart every time somebody says it. Mm -hmm. I remember Cookie from Nerds, uh, Ned's Guide to whatever. Remember that show? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. Kid. Yeah, because he had l like a lens thing, right? Mm -hmm. And and a pr and a, he used a, a, a wee nunchuck to to print shit. Yeah, it's gonna be wild. But ah, VR, eh, I don't know. I'm still ways away. I'm, I'm, there's, I know there's brilliant games like the people behind uh, Rick and Morty put a game out and I, I know that's that's been celebrated the blood and truth that I mentioned already all these VR games uh, I'm sure they're great mm -hmm. it's just uh, I don't know I, I would like to try it out but not quite for me yet I'm sorry to cut it short but I think I'm gonna have to dip no neta see you later. Mm. And I wanted to talk about these, the both of these trailers. Wait. I know, especially the last one. Oh, the last one. Made me sure? cream my pants. See you, way. I sure? got a dip. See you, okay. Felix had people over. 
He didn't invite me, son of a bitch. Thank you. Thank you. you wouldn't even have thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If I mean, if the invitation would be nice, but no, me manda la verga. He got cut short, <laughs> so the rest of these two trailers, you got all me by myself, like Celine Dion's. We don't need fuck Felix. Fuck off, Felix. Nah, thank you very much, bro. If you want more <laughs> Felix, we got a couple review roundups coming up. All that shit. Say goodbye to Felix. Bye, Felix. Bye bye. Love you, bro. Me too. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, much a bunch. Okay. Uh, now that right, we got rid of his ass, let's get into a couple more trailers we got. This next one is The Tragedy of Macbeth. I think it's fucking Shakespeare. Shakespeare? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm ignorant. But this is uh, an Apple original film. It's written by Joe Cohen. Uh, starring a lot of people. When I say a lot of people, I just mean like famous people. You feel me? Uh, Denzel Washington, Francis McDormand. I don't think that's anybody that I recognize that are fucking. Oh no, Brendan Gleeson, Corey Hawkins, Harry Mealing, who is a bastard of the the cousin of Harry Potter, El Dursleys. Um, it's filmed in black and white. I think the aspect ratio was different, if I'm not mistaken. Again, um. It's Denzel, bro. What do you want with your life? Yeah, the aspect ratio is fucked. It's black and white. It's Denzel, homie. Doing my best. Denzel. Legendario. The best of all time. Denzel, top five. Easy. Top five, top five, top five. Uh, I don't know anything about this, this tale. So I will be going blind into this. Um... So it's a Scottish lord who becomes convinced of a trio of witches that will become the next king of Scotland and his ambitious wife supports him in his plans of seizing Bawa. I don't know how I went Jamaican there, but it's Denzel black and white acting, acting the fuck out of the fuck. Apple TV ain't fucking around lately. They've been putting out bangers. Felix and I reviewed calls on Apple TV. Go check that out. Both the review roundup and the actual show of, of Apple TVs. Um, Apple is not Netflix yet. It's it's kind of fucked up that HBO just jumped over Apple real quick from the jump. Uh, but Apple, Apple trying, Apple trying. I think Cherry was also the, the Tom Holland movie was also Apple. They put one or two movies out a year that makes you perk up your eyes and pay attention and this might be one of them it's Francis McDormand and damn Denzel what else you want with your life um I'm excited to watch this I think it comes out this week yeah January 14th so by not this next review roundup or the or the one after but in a couple in the future I'll let you I'll let you guys know what I think about it it's under two hours which is kind of it's kind of I'm shook like these movies are usually two and a half hours long so I appreciate when they cut it down they cut down the boo shit seems like they did that I am 100% down for Denzel and Francis McDormand the tragedy of Macbeth Apple TV we finna check it out we gonna check it the hell out which brings us to the final trailer of La Semana this was the last trailer of La Año that I saw last year. But we were, you know, we were, we were vacaciones, so we don't talk about it. So I saved it and nothing else came out. So here it is. Final trailer of La Año, of La De Semana, The Northman. Now, when I tell y'all, I'm so excited for this movie. Y'all don't understand. Okay. So for y'all don't know, my last name is Prez. It's Polish. And for some reason, not for some reason, I wanted to do the 23 and me. I bet you we, we Vikings, Doug. All right? We Vikings. And I couldn't think of any Viking gritty movies. I know that the show Vikings is out, which I have not watched. And as a Viking, I should watch it. But 
I couldn't think of any dope outlander i don't really care there's a, a movie viking there's a the 13th warrior with antonio banderas get the fuck out of here antonio banderas ain't no fucking viking way how to train your dragon is one that i i, I kind of want to watch because it's animated vikings valhalla rising this all looks like bbc crap okay but this movie the northman bruh Miho. From acclaimed director Robert Eggert. So we ain't fucking around, dog, with Robert Eggert. He wrote it and directed it. He's also behind uh, The Lighthouse, The Witch, which Felix loves. I was iffy on those, both of those, but I know what tone he 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 brings. I know what, what he's going for. The Lighthouse is and it's a weird one. The Witch too. I felt like The Witch was a little slow and kind of low-key, kind of boring. Uh, and not scary at all. The Lighthouse is just fucking a trip. I saw that by myself in the theater. I don't do that. And I remember seeing that by myself in the theater. So Robert Eggert is behind this movie, Northman. It's an epic revenge thriller that explores how far a Viking prince will seek justice for his murdered father. His father gets murdered, his mother gets captured, and he grows into a sexy-ass, giant-ass Alexander, Alexander Scorsgord, walking around in his muscly glory, looking like a Viking, as you're supposed to. If y'all don't know who that is, that's fucking Tarzan, bodied up. Anya Taylor-Joy running around, Nicole Kidman running around, Willem Dafoe, because of course he's running around, Ethan Hawke, uh, Thor, the, the 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 strongest man in the world from Game of Thrones running around. Bjork, y'all remember Bjork from two thousand? The crazy bitch, she running around. Hell of Viking people, man. All right, this looks like the first straight up dope ass biking movie I've seen in a while. That I want to see in a while. You feel me? And I, I showed it to my pops. My pop was like, the fuck is this? A whole ass movie? No way. We de- we watching this, Holmes. We did the designist. Got my pops ready. to. We're going to watch this in the theater, hopefully. I am so excited. It looks gritty as it should be. It looks violent as it should be. It looks cold and muddy and nasty as it should be. It's, it looks glorious, man. I can't fucking wait for this movie. I'm so excited. This is probably behind non superhero related. This is my my most anticipated movie of 2022. I think I just read that it comes out in, in uh, April, April 22nd, 2022. Expected. I'm so down. This looks great. Oh, I'm so wet. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. It looks so good. Ethan Hawke plays the daddy. He gets killed. Oh, spoiler alerts, I guess. It's from the trailer. What do you want me to do? It's in the trailer. Is Alexander Scorsgore got to come back and do fucking revenge? <sighs> it's great. I love Vikings, bro. I love it. I'm here. I'm here for it. I can't. Do y'all believe me? I just showed a little bit on the YouTubes. Go, go watch the whole ass trailer on YouTube. Do yourself a favor. Nicole Kidman as the mama, bro. I have super high hope for this movie. That if it's anything less than an eight, I'm going to be hella disappointed. And we shouldn't do that. That hurts the movie. That hurts the movie when we go into with any form of expectation. But it's hard, man. We're human. How can you not go in feeling a certain type of way about a movie you're about to see? You're going to watch it because you want to, you know? And if you don't want to, then don't do a review on it. You know, sometimes I feel like that. Ah, I'm watching a movie I don't want. And that's what I did. Like a lot of a few like last year uh, when we were going to the theater two years ago, I was watching stuff I didn't want to watch. So I would give it shitty reviews or sometimes it would help because you go in thinking it's going to be a piece of shit dog shit on fire. And it's actually not. It's actually whatever. I I find it really, really hard to shut your brain off and say, I'm just going to consume this as is and not go in blindly. And usually when I do that, 
it helps. But it's hard when when all I'm doing is watching trailers and talking about the trailers and have to feel a type of way to talk about the trailers. Um, that's what I do also on the show. I, 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 I grab trailers to talk about them and then I also don't grab trailers that I don't feel like people are going to give a shit about. Um, I want to shine light of things that I don't know if, how many of y'all knew about this trailer. I don't know. But hopefully now you do and you go watch this movie because it looks crazy. But yeah, expectations on movies and series going in and everything. It fucks up. Even like personal relationships when you had expectations going in, that fucks everything up. That is very, very hard to be like shutting my brain off. It's clear and we're going to go in. I think it could be a level of maturity or something. I don't know. But that's something we, we, we got to work on. Well, I got to work on. Um, because I, cause I just finished wrapping uh, Review Roundup with Felix and he his expectations were one thing so and my expectations were another so when neither of our expectations were met his opinion on it was low and mine's was high so it's just each each head is a world and you 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 take it as it is and that's the best way to do it but again it's hard when all these studios are throwing 10 trailers at you there was another trailer for uncharted they showed the the scene of him in the on the plane. How can I not have an opinion on that when I already have a very strong opinion on the source material? It's very very tough to be like I'm just gonna watch this movie for what it is. I'm a regular ass. I can't do that. You're taking a source material that I love, and you you're twisting it to something that it's not, and you want me to just take it for face value. It's very very hard. I'm not capable of doing that. I know a lot of people are. That was like one of the main issues with Cowboy Bebop. I saw that there is a hundred thousand signatures signed to bring the season two back. And I feel like most of it was from people who could suppress their their expectations on it and are people who are new fans that became fans of the show. But after watching the gem that is the original piece. It's hard for me to like not want to compare and, and and not take it for and take it for what it is, which is a whole different thing. That's why we didn't like it, because we were going in with the expectations of the anime. This is what happens when you don't write new shit. That's why I'm so excited for the Northmen. I haven't seen anything like this. Viking related. I've seen wars and I've seen the like whatever gritty and you know, snows and horses and shields. But I haven't seen anything movie form with super super focus on the viking lore and viking lifestyle again shame on me for not watching the show maybe maybe many of y'all are yelling at me you stupid fuck why didn't you watch the show fair i should watch the fucking show i'm gonna watch the show it's just i'm so far behind it's fucking five, five, five seasons oh, man but i i am it's on the bucket list but by the time i watch uh by the time this comes out i'm not probably not gonna watch it but i'm gonna watch this movie it, it's an original piece or at least something I've never seen before. And that's, a, a, it excites me when it's remakes and reboots of stuff I already know. And you don't want me to, you want me to suppress expectations and you're redoing things that I have fuzzy feelings about. That's kind of hard to be like, Oh yeah. All you nerds. And yeah, yeah I feel the type of way you want me to suppress my feelings on the thing I love because you wanted to, do it, make a dip. It's not, that's not how it works. That's how I feel. And a lot of people felt the same, especially about Cowboy Bebop. When you make new shit and it's good, it will eventually get a shine. A lot of movies come out and don't, don't hit when they were supposed to, but if it's good shit, it lasts forever. Like a nightmare before Christmas. When that came out and nobody cared on theater, it didn't, it didn't do shit. But it wasn't until it got released in home video, then its popularity grew and, and it got it got it got praised and it got appreciated for what it is. It's a dope ass movie, but it wasn't until it came out on 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 uh, home video, which is wild. I wasn't aware of that. I thought it was huge in the box office. People give a shit. No, 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 no. It's because I'm used to billion dollar superhero movies. It's a wild time, man. It's a wild, wild time. I'm going to stop rambling to y'all. 
I just realized that I'm talking to myself. Uh, hopefully, Felix will join me. If not, someone else will join me, and I'll be talking to somebody about some other stuff next week right here on the Geeks Flicks and the podcast. You can follow me personally at Edward Prizes, P-A-U. R-A-Z-A-S. You can follow my ghostly friend to see what the fuck he was doing tonight at Jafel91. Hopefully I can get bubbles in here uh, sometime this year. <laughs> Puta. And, and talk shit with bubbles as well at Alex underscore Mac 211. If not, we got boss man. We got a little, the little cast is growing. We drew, more people branch out. We'll figure it out. New year, new me. Bullshit. Same bullshit. We'll figure it out. Uh, but to do that, we would greatly appreciate if you'd share the podcast to your friends. And if you really, really hate it, share it to your enemies. That's cool. Um, all that good stuff. Uh, Audio Realm, Stitcher, iVox, all that good stuff were there as well. Spotify. You already know what it is. Uh, do me a favor and share. That'd be greatly appreciated. All right. Felix already said, but bunch, bunch. And I'm going to say, always and forever, you do you. Che vato que se va al bar y me deja solo la herba, pinche puto, güey. Hola, se ahoga el hijo de su puto.